Hey everybody, uh, so you guys requested it and I'm doing a real-time drawing of Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel from kind of the new movie. Uh, there's been a, basically I'm basing this off that one image from Comic-Con uh, as far as what her armor looks like, but I'm not really concerned about that anyway. Uh, this is just going to be a quick drawing, 20 minutes. Normally these drawings take me about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, if not longer, the ones you guys see in my sketchbooks that are a little bit more elaborate. So I figured I'd do a, a, a quick one and let you guys watch kind of how I work real time. So uh, this part of the video, I am just uh, messing around with some shapes, trying to get a pose. Uh, I'm, I start out with the head uh, and so I'll put it at different angles and then kind of see where that kind of takes me, what kind of pose um, that leads me to. So I added the body and I kind of thought, okay, she's, she's flying out at you. She's, uh, she's going to be punching you, I guess, or about to punch you. So that's kind of what is in my head at this point. And I'm just like, okay, now how's everything else going to work on that? I, I, I knew I kind of wanted her body twisting a little bit, really showing that movement and that power. Um, so I'm, that's what I've got in my mind. That's what I'm kind of going for here. Uh, you can see I'm pretty, uh, going pretty quickly, uh, just really rough, just trying to get the shapes in, um, kind of looking at, you know, making sure I get my proportions right. Uh, and at this point, you know, I'm going real loose and I want it to be, I want to have a, a lot of movement. And I know that if I can capture that in this stage of the drawing, then that'll translate to a much better drawing uh, at the end. So normally I'd be using 6H lead, uh, and I have a Rotring mechanical pencil that uh, when I do the initial sketches, that's what I normally start out with. But that lead is really hard, and it's really light, which is why I like to use it. Um, so I didn't think you guys would be able to see it very well, so I just used my standard HB, um, which this is the pencil I would go in and do all my kind of finish work and darken everything up with. Uh, to give it contrast so but I figured it'd work better for this because you know you guys actually want to see what I'm drawing um, so right here I've decided you know I want that front leg coming out at you um, I, I've been working a lot on foreshortening and having really dynamic poses and you can kind of see in this drawing her back leg is really receding into the dis uh, into the distance really gives you a feeling of movement um, the only thing I might have done differently, like with this part, I guess, actually now that I think about it, is that ang leg is too perpendicular. I would have had it more, maybe more at an angle, but eh, whatever. It worked out fine. Uh, so now that I kind of got the shape of that upper thigh, how it's kind of coming out at you, uh, I was kind of messing around with the foot to, you know, see where I wanted it. And eventually I decided, okay, it doesn't look right coming off to the side like that. Um, and have the foot kind of go behind the thigh so you can't even see it. So today I worked on a Carol Danvers drawing on Instagram um, or that I posted to Instagram and I spent a, quite a bit of time on that one. That one's at least a few hours uh, but I did it in color pencils and uh, that one you know, I, I looked at the movie uh, costume that somebody posted from uh, at Comic-Con or whatever, and this I'm just kind of going from memory of what that costume looked like. So I'm just kind of putting things where I, I think they might go. I'm not too concerned about it, though, because this is just kind of a sketch, but that's what the drawing is, the outfit is visually based on. So now that I'm kind of almost done with the whole pose, uh, I really like to, I actually feel like this is a pretty good pose. Um, things like this, when I sketch them all out and it turns out pretty good, uh, I'll come back to this and I might do a much better, like even Carol Danvers drawing just using this pose. Uh, this is what sketching is really good for is um, kind of coming up with, you know, poses and things like that for future use. Uh, right here, so I'm going to go over the drawing with that darker HB. I'm going to really 
add in shadows and things like that and kind of do finish work now. So I just took my eraser and uh, got rid of some of those darker lines that would have been distracting. So normally what I start out on when I get to this stage of a drawing is the face. Uh, just I, I always start with the eyebrows when I'm doing the face too, the angle of them, how I want the eyes, uh, and then I kind of build everything off of that. So I almost uh, sped this up to two times, which would have made it half as long. Uh, but then I, you know, I promise you guys real time. So I figure for this video, I'll keep it real time. Uh, future real time videos, I might speed it up to two times, which isn't much faster. You can still see everything I do. Um, it's just, you know, a little bit faster to where like this 16 minute part that you're watching right now would be eight minutes. Uh, but anyway, I promised a real time video, so I decided not to, I'm just going to keep it, keep it going real time. So, uh, the face, this part of the face generally takes me the most amount of time when I'm doing a drawing. Um, I probably shouldn't have spent this much time on her face. I just wasn't looking right. I mean, not every part of a sketch ever, you know, really looks perfect. Uh, it's not necessarily suspicious supposed to but I'm sometimes a perfectionist and get caught up in wanting it to look a certain way but anyway uh, I actually really like the way her hair turned out which is what I'm working on right here uh, she's kind of got this short haircut with like uh, it's long on the top I can't remember what it's called my wife knows but uh, I feel like it turned out pretty cool it's got a um, nice flow to it. it looks like it's she's going fast so I like the way that turned out. Uh, the, the only thing I would have changed on her face, I would have made her jaw. Uh, sometimes when you're foreshortening the head, um, I make the jaw and the chin too pointy. Uh, and also, I always forget about this, but <laughs> I make the upper lip. And really, when you're looking down at somebody's face, that upper lip tucks down into the bottom lip. And I always make that mistake of wanting to draw the upper lip without realizing that you really probably couldn't see it. You just see a very thin line for the upper lip, even no matter how full the person's lips are. So, uh, yeah, I didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it, but whatever, it's just a sketch. I can fix that in the next drawing, I guess. So a lot of times when I'm drawing a character um, and I'm just drawing their body or whatever, I'll draw the muscles in. Like you can see, I'm drawing the shoulder muscle, muscles right here. Even though I know there's going to be a shoulder plate that covers those up, a lot of times I just draw them in to kind of make sure the shape of whatever body part I'm drawing is somewhat accurate. Uh, I, I still have tons of work I need to do on anatomy and things like that. But I guess I have till I'm dead to figure it out. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll just draw in muscles and things like that and fill it, cover it with armor later.
So right here, I'm going to start filling in some value. Um, when I do value on sketches, generally I'm trying to think of a light source, which is, uh, I decided on this one, it was an upper left corner of the page. Uh, so where the body is in shadow, I don't add a lot of detail, like the stomach and things like that. That's all going to be in shadow, so I just kind of uh, fill in blocks of color. Uh, at least when I'm doing most sketches, I do that. Um, so yeah, so everywhere where I know like there's dips in the body or spots where you know light won't be hitting that because it's hitting her back, I try and fill in with a little bit of value. I don't go crazy though because uh, I still want to be able to see like the features of her face and whatnot because I mean if I was doing it accurately, you wouldn't see really any uh, light on her face at all. It'd all be in shadow. So I take liberties where I choose to. Uh, one thing I realized is I felt like the hairline was a little bit too high up. She had too much forehead, so I end up extending that back a little bit. So now that I'm pretty happy with, I guess, the pose and everything like that, I've got most of the placement on everything kind of done after I have this last fist here done. Uh, then I start, you know, shoring stuff up, adding outlines, uh, detail where I want there to be detail, uh, things like that. I really highlight some of her, her armor pieces um, just to really clearly define them. Uh, and also... I get a little bit darker with some stuff, you know, to kind of accentuate the light source.
all in all, this is, I would consider an okay sketch, not one of my better ones. Um, I, I think I got a little bit, it's harder, it's hard to uh, film something. I actually tried talking while I was drawing this one too, and I just ended up feeling like it was, wasn't informative, and more than anything, it was annoying. It would have been annoying for you guys, so I figured I'd just do the voiceover afterwards. But sketching is a skill in itself, um, and I try to take as much pride in how I sketch as I do like a finished, uh, like time consuming colored pencil drawing, uh, because really, sketching is it, it really makes you a better artist. And when you get really good at it, it becomes the art. I mean, there's a lot of people that sketch super quickly and their sketches are just beautiful to look at and just really capture uh, the essence of a character more than let's say a super realistic colored pencil drawing. Um, so uh, sketching is something, if I were you guys, you know, I would, I would do quite often. I should, uh, I feel like for me, um, there's been a few drawings where I've like, wow, I sketched it and I actually really like the sketch. I like the looseness of it, the, how dynamic the drawing turned out. And I think to myself, you know, why do I spend so much time on these like two, two hour, like color pencil drawings? Um, sometimes a half hour sketch can be way more effective and a lot more beautiful too. Uh, it's just, you know, something you should always work on. You shouldn't always, I think, uh, try to aspire to have just photorealistic stuff you should really see the world and try and sketch it and be free with your drawing um, it makes you a better artist so uh, this like I said this drawing it turned out okay pose is something I might use in the future um, her face didn't really dig it there's a lot of stuff I would have changed about that I did wrong uh, I didn't make good decisions um, and that's really what it is I mean you're making these are decisions you're choosing to make, especially once you have the and-eye coordination down. Uh, it's, it's all about making good choices and having that, that knowledge in your head to you know, make those choices. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all that knowledge in my head just yet, but I'm getting there. So that's pretty much this video. Uh, right now I'm at 20 minutes into this drawing. Uh, I feel like if I hadn't been filming and if I hadn't uh, been trying to talk, I probably could have done a little bit better job on this. But let me know what you guys th thought of this video, if you liked it. Uh, I just had a video yesterday and I'm gonna upload this one tomorrow morning because I feel like I owe it to you guys because I've been uploading I like uploaded two videos in the last two months. I've been slacking big time. Uh, and I've explained it to you guys before. I've been in a really bad art slump. Um, but I, on a good note, I feel like I've finally gotten out of it. Uh, I've been feeling passionate about drawing again. I've been looking forward to drawing again. I've been excited to show you guys drawings. Uh, and that's a big part of it for me is, you know, feeling excited about the artwork I'm showing you guys uh, and just the artwork I'm producing. And I feel like I'm getting there again. So, yeah, let me know, like I said, what you guys think about this video. Maybe I'll do some more in the future, real quick ones like this. Uh, and I've got a few other videos that I've got planned. Um, right now, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm doing uh, Superhero Week. So I'm drawing superheroes all week. Uh, and this kind of played into that a little bit. And then next week, uh, which is at the beginning of August, I'm going to be doing Super Villain Week. So I'll do all Super Villains for my Instagram posts. And you'll see all those characters on this channel in my um, 
sketchbook update video, which I'll probably have at the end of next week. Uh, but I'm going to try and get back to my at least one video a week routine. Uh, I feel pretty positive about that. I know I've said it in the past, but I feel like things are going a lot better now with my art. So anyway, uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think uh, about this video. And thanks for watching.